purgatory? No, uh, it's the spirit world. But in the Catholic religion, I guess that's comparable to purgatory, right? Because uh, they, they say to go to heaven or, or hell, but I don't, I don't well, it's, it's the same hell. as heaven. Yeah. Uh, there, 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 the, the kind of there, there is a kind of a purgatory kind of thing, but it's not really like the Catholic thing. It has some allusions to what's really yeah. going on, but it's not quite accurate. No, I don't think it is. Yeah. So, uh, basically, the usual sequence of events uh-huh. is uh, when someone dies. Uh, well, they see the light, and then they go to the light, and then they have a transitional yeah. 360 video immersion experience where uh, something happens that's more or less what they expected. So they, if if they think they're going to hell, they'll see like the fire and brimstones. If they and, think they're and, going and to heaven, hell is another planet where you. You're, you're going down. You're oh no! It, it's it's basically it's it's not it's just a transitional experience. All oh, oh, right, all right. So it's it's usually pretty short. You know, it might be a few minutes, maybe a few hours, uh, maybe a few days or a few so, weeks. So do do you believe you're, that you're conscious of your past lives through through meditation? Maybe oh, you can, oh, you can, you can yeah. tap into them. Yeah, that's that's a standard part of Buddhism. Yeah. Um, so you, but but you, here, you, you've done that. Yeah. Let's say. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Are we? I don't know. We're not, we're not paying attention. <laughs> I'm, well, yes, the yes, 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 yes. We we just have to make sure we turn. The, uh, the right, the right, I might go in a circle, right? So turn, turn left at the right time. Okay. So so let me just finish. Uh, so after the transition, then you realize, oh, you realize, oh, I'm dead. And then uh, it's like, oh, right, we're just balls of light. <laughs> Oh, right. And, and then, then you realize your body's not there. Uh, yeah, you realize your okay. body's not there and this isn't really happening. Uh-huh. And that all the people in this play are actually your, your, your soul family. Your soul family is different from your real family. Well, well, it, it it, can, it, it, there, it, there can be an overlap. There can be, okay. Yeah. So, and, um, and then everyone's like, yeah, yeah, you died. <laughs> And, and then, it, and, and there's a moment of sadness, or, or no, no, or there's rejoice. no. It's it's usually pretty happy, yeah. Uh, because there's there's no limits in in the spirit worlds. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we go to this kind of place uh, to experience limits. Okay, I, I mean Earth, for instance. So so so, what do you see in your so, opinion? What do you see Earth as? Uh, so here, let me just just try <laughs> to let finish. Me, let, okay, finish your point. Okay. I'm just yeah. wondering if we're we're getting farther away. If we may have missed it. There's a white dot. What is? There, there's a there's a white and red one over there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well. Well. Hopefully, eventually, we'll we'll get to the right. The, the guide here, right? I know. I know. It's just I was I was talking oh, yeah. so much. Yeah. Anyways. What is, what do these dots mean? You, okay. You, let's I go. Think, ba- let's go back. Do you know? Them. Yeah. Yeah. I know what they are. Yeah. Um. So we we have to follow the the red trail or. So yeah, yeah it's the red. Uh, I, I believe it's the red trail okay. that gets us out of here. Right. Anyways, okay, um, so, so after that, uh, you go to your peer group. Uh, so, uh-huh. so you travel through the spirit world. So you, you find your, your peer group. You know, usually your spirit guide is there to yeah. help you get there. And then uh, you review kind of like your past lives, and you chat with your peer group, and you might have some lessons with your spirit guide. And then you decide on uh, kind of what lessons you want to learn next time. Oh, you decide uh, that. Yeah, you decide that. Hmm. Oh, with well, possibly with the help of your spirit guide. Okay. And then. So, so you come into the next stage knowing what lessons you're gonna. Learn. Well, in the spirit world, yeah. Yeah. So so and then uh, and then based on what you wanted to learn, your spirit guide selects some. Uh, or, or you you select some pot- potential bodies, you know, uh, that you can well, incarnate into. And, and you also select your parents. Uh, so yeah, your parents are part of it. Yeah. Okay. Because you'll you'll have to. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Um. And then, uh, then, then usually before you incarnate, you got like a coordination session, where uh, you review various like critical moments. And uh, like meeting your soulmate, and uh, any other kinds of critical moments, and you meet those particular souls. Uh huh. Um, and then, oh, okay. So, so, so it is this way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's just it's okay. n- now I know where we are. You know. Yeah, yeah. Because well, there's there's a the big rock? ravine over here. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um. So. Th- 
uh, and, and then you incarnate after that. And, and not, not necessarily on this planet. So it yeah, be. it could be on a different planet. It depends yeah. on the lessons that you wanted to learn, right? Okay. It's just a, a lot of people like to have some continuity. Yeah. Uh, so they tend to incarnate in more or less a similar area to where they died. Okay, so you have a thing about technology. Now, now mm -hmm. as the more evolved planets, do they have more advanced technologies or are they more... Yeah more uh, an, an energy form like the, light. The, so so uh, in this in this galaxy there is a tendency for the energy form uh, stuff to dominate okay uh, so so I wanted to, to speak to what you were saying about like the past lives yeah so in Buddhism there's a like 12 fold path of Buddhism um, and it starts with like you find a teacher then you follow the precepts yeah. then uh, then then you learn like four different kinds of four stages of meditation mm -hmm. and then uh, the ninth step is uh, you remember all your former existences you actually do yeah yeah and, so, and is there an, a number of existences so, have so, a different number so well it's, it's not really a number uh, you, you can't contain all of them in one body no uh, okay. so it's just basically you have access to all of your oh, former existences right. yeah and you can download them at your leisure really yeah that sounds pretty amazing. Yeah. And so, so in, in reality then, once technology gets to a point where, say we have a connection to a hard drive, mm -hmm. we can download these onto a hard drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once, once yeah. we have robot host bodies, we can totally do that. Yeah. I see, mm -hmm. I see where you're going with things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we need to like uh, make a third eye module uh, uh, to the, see the spirit world. The, the pineal gland? Yeah, module? yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, because they, they found that it does have... Uh, a retina. Yeah. It has the I, I cones and rods somewhere. and stuff. And so That's right. it's just very few if if anyone has done any research on actually... Well, a lot of people don't even know what it is. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I'm thinking in order to have like really good human level host bodies, uh -huh. it might still be another 200 years or so. Okay. Um, well, how about with a genetically modified, you know... So, um, so it's yeah. just... A, the issue that, that, with, that could happen sooner, right? With that, it's already been done. It's already been done? It's already been done. It, it's been done uh, for, for hundreds of millions of years. Uh, do, oh. you, do you know gray aliens? Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, so, so I was a gray alien for 300 years before I got here. <laughs> yeah? For this life, yeah. And, and you saw that through meditation then, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, well, like, f for me, how it was is... Uh, well, because well, I did... Basically, I started meditating when I was 12. Yeah. And usually, reaching enlightenment uh, takes about seven years. Mm -hmm. And when I was 19, I had kind of my enlightenment experience. Oh. Uh, so, right. basically how it went is, I uh, lay down to do some laying down meditation. Uh -huh. And then I felt my body dissolve uh, into light. Mm. And I turned into just a ball of light. Yeah. With just like the two black eyes, which is what a soul looks like. So you, you you saw this in your own mind. The, yeah, the, yeah, basically. Yeah. Like like I couldn't feel my body anywhere. I could just. Oh, right. I was just the soul. So sort right? of like an out of body experience. Yeah, sort of like an out of body experience. Okay. And then, uh, and then after that, I uh, kind of woke up with a start, and because um, it was just kind of like this massive download opened up to me, where I had access to so you know. Came to you then. Yeah, like. But, but, but not like a dream. No, it, it, it wasn't like a dream, basically, because it was while I was awake, I had access to all of this thing. Oh. And my first kind of great insight was that truth is personal experience. Okay, that makes yeah. total sense. Yeah. yeah. It does. And so, based on that, I, I kind of grew up green religion. Um, but yeah. Uh, but the whole idea of green religion is kind of suits what's going on in, in the world too. It, it does. It does. It's a, it's, a, it's a great name for it. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. yeah that that's that's what, one of the things yeah. I was thinking. It's like the green party is great because the, yeah. the color green. It's so generic. The green. <laughs> oh, actually, isn't the the color of our blood green really? Well, it, it's, it, it's the one that comes out to oxygen that it turns red. That's uh, what I read that somewhere. Oh yeah. I don't know. I read that. Oh, somewhere. I, don't I, I don't know how believable I, I, that is. I don't know. I, I think hemoglobin is red. That's yeah, why it's, but that's why the blood is red. But in the body, it's actually green. I don't know. Uh, maybe veins. Veins are green? Yeah, veins are green, right? So why are they yeah. green if, if blood is red? Yeah. Exactly. So then, I don't there know. you go. But I don't know. That, that, that's, uh, that was only one that, source I read uh, it from, yeah, so yeah. I don't know how true it is. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there were some animals that had green blood. 
Yeah. Like I know uh, crabs have blue blood because uh -huh. it's, it's copper based instead of iron based. Okay. Uh, but but yeah. So with the gray aliens, basically they live uh, in the lithosphere. Do you know what the lithosphere is? No. So like the crust. The crust of reality. No, the crust of the planet. So underground. Oh, okay. I I, I do watch Ancient Aliens. Okay. And there's a lot of different. You know, oh, so so there. so so how yeah. I was experiencing my past lives is that uh, when people would talk about gray aliens, I would just have all of these kinds of visions of what it's like to be a gray alien, and I thought everyone had the same thing. So, so everybody knew everything about gray aliens. Okay, but but your argument suggests that most people on this planet are are were aliens. No, 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 not, nece life, no? not necessarily. No. So you, you think then they, most people came from different. We well, worlds as well. There's, there's a lot of people that came from different worlds, but there's also a lot of new souls that are here. New, like New souls that were born to this planet. So, right, right off the bat. Yeah. Basically, what there's a lot of violence and stuff yeah. on Earth. Uh -huh. And the Earth was suffering. And it called These. on Giche Manitsu, or God. Mm. Basically, this soul-generating star for help. Well, Oh, that's what you see as God being a, a star, a soul generating star. I never heard that. Before. So, so it's it's uh, basically Gichimanito. Gichimanito means great spirit in in, in Ojibwe. It's Ojibwe. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, it, there's many different. You call Allah. You know, yeah, it's, yeah. Okay. It, it's there's many names for the same thing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Dolores Cannon and Michael Newton they found that if you regress a person to the time that their soul is born. Mm -hmm then they uh, they see themselves first, first they experience just oneness yeah because they're, they're part of Gichi Manitu and then uh, they hear a calling like uh, the earth was calling because it was suffering and then they uh, they know that they have to go on this mission and so they separate from Gichi Manitu and the, the yeah. Gichi Manitu it's feeling of, of oneness forgiveness compassion unconditional love you know when they're in it uh -huh. and so like then they separate and it's kind of like an ouch <laughs> because uh, they, they don't have they have they don't have the, all that love anymore, uh, but they they still are a, a representation of Jawanim, which is the. Oh. And so what and then they, they separate separate from fr humanity. Fr from no, they separate from uh, from God because the, oh. their soul gets born. Oh right. Right. It's just right. like being born, you know, uh -huh. like uh, yeah. the babies usually cry. Yeah, they separate <laughs> from their mother. Yeah, because they've been separated from their mother. Oh right. It, so it's it's a similar experience, but it's being separated from from God. Um, and then they go, uh, they usually have to kind of explore, like, uh, you know, be a plant and an animal, and yeah. and, the, and then they can incarnate as a human. Uh, All right. And then they can help out. Uh, okay. sp spread the forgiveness, compassion, and unconditional love to All the right. best of their ability. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So so that that's where a lot of the new souls are. But basically, uh, our galaxy is uh, billions of years old billions but okay, and, and the, the, uh, the question is mm -hmm. how did it start did it come from nothing oh that, it, that yeah everything started as nothing as nothing but, but nothing is something no no uh, how can you have nothing from nothing uh, nothing is, is like black. something from nothing something so so from so nothing. no no but black, uh, so the, the issue is is when people get into uh, without understanding what nothing means yeah so so okay. so, so nothing is black because there's no color all okay, right. it's it's a feeling of numbness because there's no no sensation. But if, but, if, but if nobody actually sees it, it doesn't so, exist. So, so hold, hold on, hold on. Yeah, uh, if the, the, there are, are you you can experience nothing. Uh, yeah. For instance, in the sen sensory deprivation tank, you you well, get I, an I've approximation. Yeah. yeah, so so that's an ex that's an approximation of, of nothing. But it's still something. Yeah. Right, it's still something. So so when you do the uh, meditation, you can do an emptiness meditation, where you de do a delta wave meditation where everything dissipates. And you just experience nothing, oh. uh, and that that that's uh, that, that's experiencing that initial oneness or nonness. <laughs> nonness. Okay. Yeah. And so after there was nothing or zero, uh, there was not nothing. Not nothing. It, it's it's a logical um, kind of necessity, uh, and not flip that zero into a one. And now you had two things. You had zero and one. And the not was the first action. So, and, and uh, negation is part of awareness. So, for instance, uh, when light beams go over to this tree, okay, yeah. and then uh, 
the atoms here absorbs some of that light. Okay, or all of it actually. And then they decide to spit some of it back out to tell us what color this tree is. Yeah. Okay. You know? So uh, and that and like our pupils are black yeah. because they're accepting that light. They they're negating oh. that light. Okay. You know? So uh pure awareness is is not. So it, black colors do accept absorb the sun as well, right? They so light. so that would be like a like they a black hole, yeah. a black hole. Black hole. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mhm. Mm uh so so it, it, mm -hmm. it was Big Bang, is that what you're saying happened? So okay, so so after after going? things got more complicated, yeah. um then uh eventually geometry formed. All right. Okay. And then uh the uh creation decided that it wanted to learn more about itself and it realized it had to split. Oh, so it can see itself. So it could see itself. It's had to split into smaller pieces. I see. Where it was not able to be aware of everything simultaneously. And okay. that's where uh, God arose. All right. Uh, so it's so, so because it's splitting off fractions of itself. So, uh, let me get back to something you mm -hmm. mentioned before. I remember you, you, okay. you had this thing about garlic, right? Okay. And you said that garlic prevents your two uh, hemispheres here uh, yeah. from communicating with each other. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So, but on the one hand, garlic is also used to ward off evil spirits, right? Okay. With the superstition, right? Okay. So, so is there some secret there uh, behind garlic? You know that I don't uh, know. Well, it, 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 it might a, be a connection there somehow. It, it might be uh, what do you call it? Gray aliens don't like garlic because it interferes with their brain patterns. Yes, but but the, the fact that you you cannot communicate with your tooth brain side, so one is more creative and the other side is more logical, right? Uh huh. That messes people up, right? Isn't that your argument? Well, well, with that 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 that, that certainly can make people more lopsided. Yeah. Lopsided, so you, so mm -hmm. you, it throws you off in your thinking. Right, right. Like mm -hmm. you you can't reason things out properly because if you let one side take over, then you're yeah. basically controlled by that one side. Yeah, know? yeah. Th then the you might side. like, for instance, for males, they usually uh, have trouble seeing the big picture. If they eat yeah. a lot of garlic, for instance, because okay. uh, it's it's the the dominant hemisphere is the detail oriented one. Yes, and for the, guys, yeah, it is. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. and so 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 they might not see the big picture. If, but, but women is more like an emotional side. Yeah. So so yeah. so with, with yeah, it, it might be just difficulty communicating between the hemispheres. I see. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. So to, to have a proper relationship, then you have to be able to communicate with both hemispheres. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, so if you're with a woman that's, say, emotional, because she's eating too much garlic, and say she basically thinks in her emotional <laughs> side, and a man also thinks, you know, from the logical side. Mm -hmm. Without seeing the big picture. Without seeing the big picture. So they're the, always the, in that, constant, that, that could in lead to a conflict. lot of communication problems. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. This is what I, I've, I've been thinking about this for a while, because it makes, kind of, it makes sense with the, the garlic. Uh, mm -hmm. If that's... I don't know where you got that information from. That actually yeah, well, well, you could look it up online. Yeah, I've never heard that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, there's, okay. uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's one of the top, yeah. top links. But it's very difficult to get away from garlic because it's some, in so many things. Well, well, uh, we make all our own food, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's not yeah, that hard <laughs> when you do. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah so um, a after the, when we created these geometrical worlds mm -hmm. where we were balls of light, Yes. And then we would just float around in other geometrical forms like, you know, rectangles and stuff like that. And we'd bounce around on them. And and then we decided to start making more complicated games. Uh, yeah. And then eventually we, uh, or so someone, uh, created uh, games that would take longer and longer to play. Okay. And then eventually we created this universe as one of the games. Oh, so we, we created it through science then? Well, we created it or from through, the soul world. Through thought? Through feelings? Through... So, so, so in the soul world, we're balls of light. Yeah. And it's, we have infinite potential. All right. Okay, we can do anything. But when you have infinity, it's kind of like, well, it's light, you know, it's, it's, uh, it, you need to have some kind of limitations to really like feel stuff. Um, Oh, so you need a challenge, you're saying? Like, exactly, to have a challenge. Because, like, otherwise, it's like, if, if, say, for instance, I didn't have to walk all the way over there, 
it might not be as fun. Yeah, 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 that's right. You know, if I could just like teleport over there. Teleport. Yeah. yeah so you, you wouldn't learn that challenge. You wouldn't learn that. Exactly. You wouldn't learn about walking. <laughs> yeah, about walking. Right, what because you wouldn't have to. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Right. I, I've always thought that. I always mm -hmm. thought if life was too easy, it would be boring. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And and so so we, we created this uh, this universe to, mm -hmm. to have a more challenging and more colorful okay. experiences. So it's really our fault that we're in uh, the situation we're in. Oh, oh completely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We chose to be here. Yeah, we chose to be here. So, so yeah. people should stop complaining and just... Yeah, yeah. Deal it, with it. Do their best to learn, learn as learn much as they it. can. Yeah. Exactly. Because yeah. that's what we're ultimately that's the purpose of life yeah. is to learn. Well I, I I feel myself when you when you come across people that complain all the time, it mm -hmm. kinda of just drains you because you, you, you just you always try to think of solutions and how to mm -hmm. solve the problem and it, and you get so exhausted just from trying to Yeah. And, you know get into their space, their their headspace. Why they're complaining so much. Why why can't they find solutions? Like What's the problem? Right. Well, I, I usually uh, d don't even don't go even there. Go there. I don't even go there. You let it slide over you. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I, I that, just that makes sense. Yeah. If if they want solutions, I can help them with that. If they don't want solutions, they have free will. <laughs> okay. So then you just say, yeah. "Nice talking to you." And, yeah. Well, well, mm -hmm. usually I, you know, I tell them about the new paradise and forgiveness and All compassion. Right. And All if right. they have some questions, they do. And if they don't, well, they don't. <laughs> okay. So you don't let yourself be drained by it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, uh, uh, like sometimes if, if I know if if I go into a place where there's kind of like negative vibrations or whatever, then uh -huh. I, I do some meditation to bring up my own energies. All right. And then uh, that that helps people that then interact with me because it it raises their vibrations as well. All right. And and that's yeah. that's part of that multi-dimensional thing I was talking about where uh, it's oh. when you you start talking to people uh -huh. that uh you you start synchronizing vibrations all right yeah yeah yeah, yeah certain people you just get along with and certain people you just can't yeah Doesn't yeah matter hard to try it it, it, yeah. it has a lot to do with having compatible vibrations yeah okay so i i know like i don't approach everyone with the the whole new paradise spiel because not everyone is of an appropriate vibration yeah, for it yeah exactly mm -hmm. well i don't know if you've ever spoken with told about his uh he goes with frequencies with the uh, tesla nikola tesla oh yeah yeah series. I, mm -hmm. i'd like to talk to him about that what he yeah yeah what's involved with that, you know? it's kind of similar to what you're talking about yeah yeah all right i i think i'll uh turn this off for now yeah